Hello and welcome to this PalmSense unboxing video. I'm Lutz Stratmann and today I would like to show you what you get when you order an Emstead 4M development kit. And also, after I've unboxed this, we will already do our first measurement. Okay, so let's have a look what's inside this box. Okay, when I open it, we can already see in the top is a card with an activation code. You can use that to make an account on our website and download software and um, documentation, etc., in a digital form. Also, we have the development board itself, of course, and I will take a closer look at that in a minute. First, I would like to look what else is in here. Okay, we get a bag of, well, cables, so I will have a look at that also after I looked at the rest of what's in here, and that is some documentation. So, for example, we have a quick start in here, so you don't have, we have actually two quick starts, one for the board and one for the potential set module itself. And this is good if you don't want to, well, watch these kind of videos and you rather prefer to read this yourself. Also, we have here, well, the warranty terms and conditions, oh, it's just a requirement. And we have here two cards with schematics of the development board and the potential step module itself. So when you want to do your own designs, you know what each of the connections on the boards and potential step module do. Okay, what do we have in this box with multiple items? Well, it, co they, it contains well all the important cables. So first you see the sensor cable, so um, the cables that we use to connect our potential stats to the electrodes. It ends in two millimeter banana plugs. It has a green plug for the ground, a blue plug for the reference electrode, a red plug for the ah, ah, here, a red plug for the working electrode, a black stackable one for the counter electrode, and a white one. Well, the white part is here at the top. A white one for the sense lead because. Um, this unboxing video, I'm showing you the high-range version of the Amstead 4M, um, which can go up to 200 milliampere, so you need a sense lead to compensate, for example, for cable resistance. If you have the low-range version, your cable won't have the sense lead, and that's just the difference. Well, another difference that you have when you have the high-range version is you get this um, splitter USB cable. This enables you to connect your potential step module to two USB ports. Because um, the high range version, when it draws a lot of current, it can happen that a single USB port just does not provide enough power. So you're prepared for that as well with the development kit. Then to connect your uh, sensors or your electrodes, you also have here Crocodile clips, so that you put them on the two millimeter banana plugs and then you can clip your electrodes to almost, uh, your cable, you can clip it to almost every electrode. We have then in here a USB cable to connect the board for communication. We have in here a mini screwdriver and some legs for the development board. We have a USB um, stick in case you're too impatient and you don't want to wait for a download, or maybe you're not allowed to download something on the computer where you need to install the software. And then, and this is what we're going to use for a test measurement as well, we have a dummy cell here that has three different test circuits. Um, now, let's have a closer look at the development board. So I'm taking it out of the, of the wrapping. And you see on your development board, there's already a pre-installed Amstead 4M module that comes with your development board. All the connections that you usually have to solder to on your Amstead 4 module are now already pre-soldered for you and pulled out to the different pins of the development board. So you can nicely and easy experiment with the hardware, connect new things, disconnect new things. You also have connections you have here a connection for the cable. I will show you that when we do the first test measurement. And you have here a screw terminal, which is an alternative uh, connection for your electrodes. And screw terminals make it easy to hand handle uh, any cables that you like. It's also easy to connect, for example, an SPE connector to it. 
There are some push buttons here that, for example, allow you to put the potential step module into download mode or reset the board or reset the Bluetooth module. Yes, there's already a pre-installed Bluetooth module on the board. So if you have a software programmer uh, that wants to make a wireless application, they can get started immediately because there is a pre-installed Bluetooth module on the board. Also, there's a USB plug that you can use to communicate to the board or the USB plug of the potential step module to talk directly to the potential step module. How you want to communicate or which source of power you want to use can be uh, regulated with these switches because you can also connect a battery to your potential stand because at the bottom, uh, down, but the bottom side of the board is also a connection for a lithium-ion battery and there is a port for an Arduino microcontroller. Um, yes, so you can easily connect these and due to the fact that this potential step module works with our scripting language method script, you can easily also write software for the Arduino that then controls the potential stat. Okay, so this is what you find in the box and I would like to make your first measurement together with you right now. Okay, so first let's connect the potential stat. For that we have here this USB cable. I just connect the board and I connect it to my computer. Oh, there we go. So you can already see that the board, oh, you can't see it like this, yeah, here you can see that the board is illuminating and the potential stat module. Right, then I will first prepare the uh, cable. So I take these uh, clips and what I will do is, is I connect the blue clip to the reference electrode, the black clip to the counter electrode, and because my sense lead will measure at the same point where my working electrode does, I just stack them and then I put the red clip for the working electrode. Now I take this dummy cell, the palm sense dummy cell comes with uh, three different test circuits. You can use these nicely to check if the instrument is working as you expect or how you, uh, if your software works as expected because circuits are a bit more easier to store and more reproducible than chemistry often is. Okay, so I will be using in this experiment the working electrode uh, B and the working electrode B is just the 10 kilo ohm resistor. I'm connecting the reference electrode to the RE pad, the counter electrode to the CE pad and the working electrode to the WE pad. Then I look for the red dot at the other end of the cable, put it up and shove it into the Limo plug. There we go. So now we have our potential set connected and are actually already ready to do our first measurement. I have already installed and started on my computer are the software PS Trace that you can use to control the potential step module. You can of course also start writing your own software immediately, but often it's easier for customers just to start first with our software to perform the first experiments and check if the potential set does exactly what you want it to do. Okay, so let's have a look. So first you need to check um, if in the drop-down menu the potential step that you want to connect to is available. It doesn't look like it is, so I just press the refresh button and there it is. So I just press connect and we're connected to the potential stat. As a first measurement, I want to per perform a linear sweep voltammetry on my 10 kilo ohm resistor. I can set the parameters myself if I want to, but there's also the option to load a method file. So I can just go to method, load, and then I select the method file that I want to use. Okay, so now it has load, loaded the parameters that I want to use for this measurement, so I just need to press run. And you see that on the potential state you have a red LED that indicates that the cell is on. Right, so here we already see our first measurement, which is a, di a diagonal line. Oops, now I zoomed in, there we go. Uh, which is a diagonal line, which is expected from a linear sweep voltammetry on a resistor. Okay, so you see within a few minutes you can unbox your potential stat and already do your first measurement. 
If you want to have more information, like for example the specifications of the Mstat 4M, just go to our website palmsense.com. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you, want, if you want to stay updated, then follow us on LinkedIn to receive regularly updates. Now, I can only thank you for watching and wish you a great day.